be done here because the, the yeah. All right, I'm making this little video with obviously more for master gameplay footage. Uh, clearly on multiplayer here. I wanted to just kind of really quick give my review on this game. Now, a lot of people play about the spawn points, how they didn't change them, and I gotta admit it's exactly like the original. And I I like that. I love this. Cause I used to play it a little bit. I was a kid too. And I seriously can't. I don't really want to play Mac because I don't. I don't mind it. In all honesty, it's fun. Enjoy it. And I love that it's exactly like the original. This game, fantastic. The Desert Eagle right here, man. Fantastic. It's just a good game. It's just a good game. All right. Kill streaks. Yeah, it gets a little bit annoying that there's only three different versions of kill streaks. Can't lie about that. That's annoying. But, uh, I mean, like they have all the original crap, the claim wars, and all that stuff that makes this Call of Duty Call of Duty. So I like it. So I, I personally, I give it like a ten out of ten, man. 10 out of 10. It's my personal opinion on it. What the freak? I get sniped. There's still quick scopers, and it hurts my soul. But there's not much we can do about that, ladies and gentlemen. So, life is life. We gotta just deal with that. But yeah, more or less, that's it. Um, right now I'm uh, Yeah, I. Overall and all, give it a 10 out of 10 for Call of Duties. To move on from Black Ops 2 to this is so nice, too. Uh, Infinite Warfare, uh, the worst thing you can give it. Uh, I don't know the worst thing is you can give it, but I would give it the worst thing that you can give it because it sucks and it's, it's terrible. And it's just, I played it, it's awful. But the problem is, like, um, in case you guys don't know, at some point, I want to get good enough on Call of Duty, which isn't going to happen for a long time. I'd like to go pro on this. It's something I want to go pro on. Uh, me and Thomas have discussed it and stuff. We want to go pro on this. Uh, Thomas wants to go pro on Need for Speed 2, but uh, more or less, we want to, at some point in our lives, go to the world thing and do this. But we're not nearly that good yet, but we're working on it. Uh, it's going to take a lot of practice and training and so much crap that we haven't gotten to yet, but it, it will happen in the future. And that's awesome. Yeah. And uh, that, that's that. Uh, Infinite Warfare, uh, as I said, worse I can give it. Uh, probably like a negative 1 million out of 10. Uh, so, there you go. That's my thing. Um, they're taking three years to make a new Call of Duty and being a call such a big Call of Duty fan, and I do somewhat consider myself a Call of Duty YouTuber. It's nice to see that. I hope it's better, and I hope that they die down on the jumping. And also, one other thing about Model for Master here is it has the, um, the supply drops that you can buy like you did in Black Ops 3, which is really nice and decent, which I played some of Black Ops 3. I don't know a bunch of it, but I, pl I played some of it. And it was okay. Black Ops 3 was okay. Um, but yeah. Overall and all, I think they should make a model for remaster too. And yep, I think they should stick with making some remaster Call of Duties because these are more played than other things right now and they're really decently well done. And I enjoy them. And a lot of other people do. So yeah, it's the gist of it. It's basically it. It's my review, my thoughts on Mobile Free Master, being such a big Call of Duty fan, and that's it. That's it, guys. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. That helps me out. Subscribe if you do. And uh, favorite this video, I guess. And yeah, that's about it. So I'm out of here. So see ya, see ya, see ya, see ya later. Own any of the music or pictures in this video, all rights go to the makers.